Yeah, it's the best name in the game for sure. Q. Alright. So we've got Q. <laughs> That's his name. We've got Q's entry into the CC contest. TGC Tours. Zodiac. Hey, he took his design league course and made a full 18 out of it. Huh. Okay, cool. So very rural. Okay, let's get after it. Yo, it's subtle, all right. Right through the fairway. Q. Why did I hit it through the fairway? Other than the fact that I'm massively powerful. Oh my god, that's gone. Oh yeah, are there any secret messages? I don't know. Yeah, and, and, and so this was something I was talking about once when we were having the whole do um, established designers get the benefit of the doubt conversation. Um, sometimes established designers actually kind of get the opposite because you get compared against your previous, your most like your previous courses. And I've, I've seen it in a judge room where they've said, well, this isn't, you know, so-and-so's best course. And that is something they use as a way to judge whether it's any good or not. And it's difficult um, for then the designer because you are you should be competing against the other courses in the field, not the courses you've created before. So sometimes it's the opposite. And so, yeah, saying choice is going to take some beating, yeah. It's true, but um, that shouldn't have any bearing on how he does here either. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. I should end up in the front bunker, I would imagine. Chill. Okay. It still has some Q characters, Q characteristics to it. Yeah, I do too, Mayday. But that was my counter to people saying that established designers always get the benefit of the doubt. Well, they can do whatever they want and people are going to think it's great. And I was like, well, actually, sometimes you get compared against your previous courses, which. Yeah. Which isn't again, it isn't right. You should be compared against if it's a contest you should be compared against your opponents right the other co designers in the contest um if it, if you've brought a course out as a funsies oh gun canny uh lost souls then i think it's reasonable then to say well you know i actually liked i don't know as as just off top of my head and i don't know if i believe this or not but you know i i you could say well i preferred persephone to blind rabbit for example right I think that's reasonable, but I would never use that as an argument in deciding whether a course should, you know, whether Blind Rabbit should, how it should have done a Dream Team. I went for the angle here, the short route, I mean, and I missed the fairway, which sucks. Hmm. 
But I also do get it. I mean, I understand where people are like, oh, you know, so-and-so's course is out and they get all excited because their last course was amazing. And then if it's not as good, in their opinion, it can be a bit of a letdown. I get it. I, I know, I know, Jordy boy. I know you weren't trying to start anything. Just every now and then, somebody will mention something that kind of reminds me of something, and then I just start talking about it. I'm enjoying. I mean, I'm enjoying the course. It it's it's gonna be. This is an interesting way to go for a, a contest because it. I mean, it, it stands out in the sense of how different it is. But is it that is it different in a good way? I don't know. And it depends on who's judging it too, right? I like this. I this hole looks cool. I like the framing of this. Interesting green too. I'm hoping the wind's gonna hold this up the exact right amount. Oh yeah, for sure, Jordy. Um, it's, it's, it's not an easy track at all. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not, like, I prefer good golf over views. You know that, Charlie. And so far, I'm enjoying it. PNB's laughing at something. Eh, well. Curious. Maybe I'll find out one day what it is. I mean, this looks like the kind of course you could see in real life where it's farmland all over the place, but there's a golf course in the middle of it. I mean, that that, that happens here all the time. Tons of them. What an interesting green this is. Just f flip up this hill. Bunkering over there. Easy. Shot 73, Zach. Holy crap, Zach. That's impressive. Where'd that come from? New clubs are working, I guess, are they? Oh, I didn't play enough wind. Shoot it forward. Thank you. You did play the first front tees, however, the first time you broke 80. 6,200? It's mm, okay. Five thousand? That's not even a golf course, Zach. Yeah, this strikes me as a course so far that if you want frills, you're not getting them here. But if you want to play fun golf have a good golf experience you're getting it i like it there will be people who won't like this course just because they'll they'll think of it as boring because there's not really anything to look at right i don't care about that i care about the, the golf itself i mean i shouldn't say that i do like a, a beautiful golf course too but i'd rather play a course that maybe isn't as visually appealing but is fun to play than you know, a really visually appealing course, but it's the course sucks to play golf. All right, Bellevue, play well, dude. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Can I run it down that hill? Q, what are we doing here, buddy? What's what, what what's the shot here? I'm gonna try this, and I'm sure I'm wrong. Oh, especially if I slow it, it ain't gonna come back. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, no. Light rough, though. Alright, we can play from light rough, I guess. It plays better from the tips? What did I play? Oh, because of the manip team manipulation. Okay. Um, that, 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 that didn't get there. Yeah, the, uh, the, the first cut is very much appreciated. Um, and yeah, it, that does make it quite a lot more friendly for CC. I agree with you there, Charlie. Yeah, this looks cool. Again, hoping I got the wind right. Ooh, that back left pin looks fun. The way the slope is. All right, Jordy boy, take care, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. What a sneaky par five this is. All right, well, let's try and sneak it through the gap here and then see if we can do anything. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't get all of it. Damn. Almost though. Oh, what a just I mean <laughs> what a cool hole. It requires two really, really good shots, like two almost perfect shots to hit the green and two. It's fine on a par five. Um, but I mean, that green is hilarious. This is, uh, yeah, like this. And then this runs away. It's a very well crafted par five. I agree about the bunkering too. And then we follow it up with a drivable four. Is this gonna be too much? Oh, am I seeing death behind the green? Well, first of all, no, it's not gonna be too much. Yeah, you go over the back, it's going to roll a good ways. Now, here's a question. Is the hole short enough to bring that into play? Because I would like, what I would prefer is a driver potentially, you try to hit driver, you hit it through the back, and it runs all the way down the hill. And I mean, I, I was downwind there, hit a full driver, and I got just past the, the um, middle of the green. But left is dead too. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I, Q does do good drivable force. Um, and he, he, 
this is gonna I'm gonna contradict myself in saying this. There's a subtlety to them, but you can see it. Like it's not hidden from you. You just have to look a tiny little bit and you'll see that you need to favor the right on that T shot, because if you go down that hill left, good luck getting up and down. Um And so yeah, you're gonna probably go for that green every time. But you can get yourself into some trouble trying to. If if you if you're not if you don't pay attention to what's going on. I, I like that. Here, if you can carry these bunkers to the right, you're going to have a better angle and a view at the hole, but into the wind, I don't know if I can. Okay. I can never get the wind right. Hurts. Yeah, Whistling Straits is a course, all right. I remember the first time they played the PGA there. That was uh, something else. Hmm. Bit of a lip out there. Yeah, this is one that's growing on me too. I'm the the environment is starting to be I'm starting to enjoy the environment more too. Yeah, I am, David. I'm uh I I basically my this is I've always been I play whatever the TGT the TGC tour settings are. Um and so now that they're going pro, so do I. I just don't see much point in playing master when, when I do my competitive rounds, it's going to be on pro. So, um, 99.9. Wow. Oh. Q dumps me right off the fairway there. You got to keep that one right. All right. Ooh, that's a hell of a ridge I just missed. Oh my goodness. And oh, by the way, the greens are only 152 as well, and that's a lot of red. Oh, would you get lost with this lipping out crap? Yeah, I wonder if that's what it is, David. I'm sure, I mean, on the course it doesn't look like there's a whole lot, but I'm sure he's... There's a lot of stuff going on we're not necessarily seeing that used up a bunch of it. Oh. Not quite. But yeah, here's the difference right here between this course and the one we just played. 200 yards. There's slope here. And it's not necessarily super helping, but it's not like there's this big false front that you've got to deal with. You can run it on. Uh, just Friday night. Uh, I mean, I was there the whole time, Zach, so... Oh, no, maybe I wasn't. I left early, didn't I? Yeah, I left early. So, no, I, I didn't. It's not about winning, it's about wrecking, though.
No, yeah, I wasn't there for those. No, I have no, I have no idea what happens. And like I said, to me, I don't care about winning and that. It's about wrecking. We made that decision, God, months ago, and it made it so much better. Uh, good shot. Uh, well, I got, I got repped, I got wrecked a lot. <laughs> um, I left because I needed a bit of a break before I was gonna start doing an, an act, a real race later. Cause we, that start, practice started at 10 and we, 10, 10, 20 is when we started racing. So, um, I just needed, my eyes needed a rest from the screen for a little bit. And that's why I left. Nothing to do with being wrecked. It's the whole point of the game. Ooh. Uh, it can. It can take energy. It's just more... I, it's, it, we're going to be racing for an hour. And... Um, I've just been looking at a screen for two hours before that, right? So I just wanted to take a, a minute or two to kind of chill for a bit. Now, you want to see some energy being taken. Yeah, exactly. The eye strain. Now, you want to see some energy being used. Watch tonight. I haven't mentioned this yet. It is Double Entity Monday. Um, I'm not sure what Victory and, and Foxen are doing for uh, Is It, though. Um, but I'm sure it'll be on Twitter soon enough if it isn't there already. I am racing 250 laps at Southern National, which is it's a half mile track at most. Um, it is just, it's going to take all the concentration to have and then some. Yeah, me too, Mayday. Um, it's because, I mean, you're concentrating, particularly when. Like, old bastards racing, you're really concentrating because you're terrified of screwing up, right? Because you're going to get penalized or whatever. Um, but yeah, 250 laps around that place is going to be just crazy. There are going to be cautions from guys just spinning out. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying, dude. It's, yeah. I hope we don't still have the 5x limit, because otherwise, I mean, half the field's not going to finish. We had, um, I think the track at the end of practice was 59 Celsius, so what's that Fahrenheit? 130 plus. It was slick. All right, Q. Oh, I remember this. La this was his. Was this the last hole in his design league course? Because I tried to play it off the house, didn't I? Well, tradition and all that. That wasn't enough club. So now we're going to play the super realistic splash shot off the path. <laughs> oh, I love EQ. That's fun. That's a cool course. I like it. I like, I like the golf. Um, I don't mind the environment either. It, it reminds me of the kind of course you would see in real life. Um, I live in, in Midwestern Ontario here. There are all kinds of golf courses in the middle of farmland. 
Well, my concern, Charlie, is how did I get under the ball with, all the, with the bounce? But... Anyways, um, yeah, the more I, the more I, the longer I was playing that course, the more I was enjoying it. There's some subtle design to it. There's some cool strategy. It's a fun course to play. Um, and even the environment, I was starting to enjoy the environment too. It's real. Like I said, it reminds me of what I would see around here. Farmland, farmland. Oh, a golf course. Yeah, Zach, our country is like probably twice the size of yours and we have a tenth as many people that live in it so <laughs> we have more empty space than we know what to do with anyways very cool very cool course q i enjoyed that 